I'm Paige Robles with ACC TV on behalf of the drama department. We're going to interview the cast of Hamilton today. I had the pleasure of seeing the show last week and it was phenomenal. Let's go ahead and ask him our questions. Really waiting, I'm passionately smashing every expectation, every action's an act of creation. I'm laughing in the face of casualties and sorrow. For the first time I'm thinking past tomorrow. And I am not throwing away my shot. I am not throwing away my shot. So I'm over with Austin Community College. We are a college based here in Austin, and we're maybe just two minutes down the road. Yes, hi. Um, so one question that I wanted to say, um, which I had it all typed up, but we're just going to do it now. So Lynn manuel has consistently, and I'm sure he's told you this himself, um, that he considers Angelica, had she been born in a different time period, she would have been one of our founding fathers. Probably. Oh, most definitely. Yeah. Uh, so uh, tying into that idea, how do you think uh, Angelica Scott, all of the Schuyler sisters, honestly, because they were all pretty powerful women, and I, that's an understatement to say the least, mm -hmm. um, but how do you think they would react um, with how uh, women's rights are moving now? Of well, they day? would hate it just as much as I do. I mean, <laughs> I think that they would be right on the front line of anything happening. They would be innovators, they would be, you know, protesting, they would be vocal, and I think that they would make some stuff happen. They would get to work. Yeah. yeah. Can you just tell me about how you and Angelica are similar and how you all are also different? You know, Angelica went, she has a lot of grace, and she took a back seat for her sister. And I think that that was a really beautiful thing. We both are strong women and, and we both are, are vulnerable in ways that, you know, like she did something for her sister. She took a back seat so that her sister can find love and it, and it showed a softer side of her that she probably doesn't want to show a lot of people and I can be that way too. I think that when you are a strong vocal person, there's always something a little softer underneath that you're trying to hide and I think she was that way as well. Do you have any advice for any aspiring actors uh, just in or anyone who's looking into performance as a profession in general. So the thing about this career is that it's it's an endurance test. That's really all it is. And it's not a matter of, you know, am I good enough, am I talented enough? It's really a matter of how long can you stay in it? Because what you're waiting for is the show that's going to fit your skill set, right? And you have to, honestly, the best way to think of it is almost like dating a little bit. Like, you don't, you know, you, you can go on all these dates, you go on all these auditions, and you're gonna be in these rooms with these people and you're gonna think that's the one and then they reject you or they don't want you whatever it is but that doesn't in any way reflect who you are or what you bring to the table that's just about them so you I think knowing as long as this is worth it for you to stay in it until you find the thing that that is truly the right fit I think that that's that's kind of the, the thing that hurts people the most is the the rejection kind of shuts them down and take the time to heal from that rejection but also know that there is there are so many more possibilities out there and no matter who you are there's a place for you what was the most challenging part for you personally um, in portraying Aaron Burr the I will say about <laughs> Aaron Burr is uh, so Leslie who originally in my role Leslie is an amazing mover and dancer and so Aaron Burr is physically in a lot of the show moving around the stage. I am not a dancer. Uh, I never purported to be a dancer. So I try my best. But, it, you know, I think, I think physically the, sh the challenge of the show um, and what it takes to upkeep the, the type of energy that you need to do this eight shows a week is a lot. And, and so what I've kind of realized has been you kind of have to, outside of the show in a little bit, you have to live like a monk a little bit. Like, what is it? You know, it, whether it's going to physical therapy three times a week or going to the gym, like you really just have to understand. There's never been a show where I've understood more that my body is my temple. What was the most memorable part of this show for yourself or most impactful part? Uh, I, I think the most memorable, memorable part for, the, for me in this show was probably the rehearsal process. Um, I love rehearsing in New York and um, it was really difficult. At that time I was... I was doing uh, Miss Saigon on Broadway, and the last four weeks of our run in Miss Saigon overlapped with our rehearsals for, for Hamilton. Um, 
So it was it was a little it was it was really uh, difficult at that time just because I was doing double duty and I would rehearse during the day we would rehearse from ten to six and then I had like a short little hour and a half break for dinner then I would have to run up to Fifty Fourth Street and go do Miss Saigon at night. Um, oh my yeah, it was. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, as an actor, you know, we yeah. we um, we love it, right? It's a labor of love. So it's always refreshing to see the diversity up on stage. So what has um, how has that impacted you just in your everyday life? I think it's a, it's affected me in my everyday life in a very positive way. You know, I feel like because um, because representation does matter so much, and and the 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 ethnic diversity lens is widening mm -hmm. um, for me to be a part of this show uh, and, and all of its popularity uh, it's certainly it's a significant and poignant mo moment in time I think you know in you know kind of like the broad spectrum of musical theater history Absolutely. that um, you know an Asian American is able to play this role in this show at this time you know and I'm, I'm nothing but thankful and grateful to you know our creative team for giving me this opportunity and we're just having a great time. And there you have it. That was the cast of Hamilton. We asked some amazing questions, got some amazing responses. Please keep up to date with us. You can see what we're doing next. And as the Skylar sisters say, let's get to work. Not going away, my, not going away, my shot.